Hello, today I'm going to show you a small Atari 2600 network. Now as you'll see here I have two Atari 2600s and each one of them have a keyboard on top of them and a cartridge in the slot. That is called the CompuMate and it comes from a company called Spectra Video. It came out in the early 80s and is a computer add-on for the Atari 2600. Now Atari toyed around with making this as well. Theirs was going to be called The Graduate and there was a couple other third-party companies that were going to do a computer add-on. but Nothing ever came to market. The only one was the CompuMate from Spectra Video. And it has two built-in programs, a graphics program and a music program and basic programming with two kilobytes of RAM. Um, as far as computers of the time in the late 70s, early 80s, this is really bottom of the barrel in terms of its capabilities. The basics really pared down um, it has no expansion ports. Uh, you may re remember the Sinclair ZX81 only had 1K of RAM, but even it had expansion ports where you could take the RAM up substantially and add printers and modems to it and so forth. There is nothing like that on the CompuMate. The only thing it has is a pair of line-in and line-out jacks. So you could save your program to a cassette tape, which was a little common back in the early 80s. Um, so. As it turns out, even though that's the only thing it has, we will be able to uh, do something interesting with it. So I thought, instead of using a tape player, what if you had two CompuMates? Could you just run the line in and line out to another CompuMate and, and swap programs back and forth? And as it turns out, you can, and that worked very well. And then I thought, well, let's take it up a notch. Let's make it wireless. And because these uh, line in ports are not proprietary ports, you know, there's some interesting things we can do with it in the 21st century. So what you'll see over here on this one is a Bluetooth transmitter that is coming out of that CompuMate. And over here on this side, you will see a Bluetooth receiver on this one. So first thing I'll show you is I have a program loaded in on the first CompuMate on the left. So if I list it, you'll see it's a text adventure by a gentleman named Graham Percy. And um, it's uh, about as much as you can type into the CompuMate without running out of memory. And over here, I've just turned this CompuMate on. So if I do a list on it, we get nothing. So when this uh, is done, listing, we will try to transfer it over wirelessly to the other uh, Atari 2600 and see if it works. So what I'll do here is I'm going to go over and hit save like I was going to save it to a cassette tape. And over on this one, I'm going to hit load as though I was going to play it back from a cassette tape. And I'll start this one here. And then I'll start this one here. It's transmitting. You can tell by the computer on the right cycling through the colors. And voila, if we hit run, there's our text adventure game. Totally transferred from one Atari 2600 wirelessly to another one. Pretty neat, I think. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you do, please like and share and subscribe to my channel, as I will be doing future videos on the CompuMate as well as other retro technology as well. Thank you.